Hey everyone, my name is Matt. I'm going to be doing a, a TMJ release. I'm here with Monica Watts. Say hello. Hi, Hi everyone. So, she's been having some grinding issues. I found out the, the Atlas axis was off a little bit. It was in a left rotation. I released the uh, the cranial base. I did a, a lot of neck work. I got everything balanced. I released the uh, temporal bones. Now I'm going to go in and and release the masseter muscle and the and the, the pterygoid muscles. So what I'm going to have you do is just open up. And the masseter is the, the muscle right here that connects the the mandible to the uh, to the uh, the jaw. And you right in here the masseter muscle. So I'm just going to compress on that. And release that. Now on her mandible, because the mandible is a floating bone, her her neck was tilted and this side of the mandible was more compressed because of gravity. So I'm going to release this side of the TMJ. Right in there, it's all the masseter muscle. So I'm just doing some compression with opposition on it to break up the ischemic tissue get, get rid of trigger points. So once I do that, I'm going to have Monica open up wide. And the, the pterygoid muscle is actually right back there, so I'm just going to push on it first. This is the medial pterygoid. And that'll help release that tension on the left side of the jaw and open it up. Now a lot of this tension, I feel, was because the atlas was off and her neck was tilted. And that tilt is causing that compression on the left side of the mandible because it's just a floating bone. So the gravity is going to be make the left masseter and pterygoid muscles much more tight. And her, also her temporal bones were off. One was posterior on the left and was also inferior. So I helped mobilize those because that, the mandible, the TMJ joint, attaches into the temporal bone. Connects to it. All right, so that's opening up. I already feel it releasing. So that muscle's already re releasing. So now I'm going to have you turn your jaw towards me, just your jaw, move the bottom of your jaw, yep, right, just like that. Now I can get the lateral pterygoid, and that's way up there, and it's probably a little tender. These muscles can be very tender. Now I'm going to do both sides, but it's definitely more needed on the left side. Now I'm just going to push and hold because I feel like there's trigger points in there. Alright, good. And now I'm going to treat the opposite side. Wow, awesome. Oh, that feels good. That feels wrong. Opened up, right? Mm -hmm. Alright, now, now let's treat the master first, so it's up with the master muscle. So I'm just doing some compression with opposition on it. That usually does a good job releasing it. By the way, this is my new office. I got my charts up. And whole setup is equipment. <laughs> so the left, the right master is not as ischemic. Now I'm going to get the pterygoid. I'm going to get the medial one first. I'm just going to push on it. It's right there. Open that space up a little bit. So anyone with TMJ issues, popping, clicking of the jaw, locking up. These muscles are essential to release. Now move your bottom of your jaw towards me. 
Good. And then I can get the lateral pterygoid right back there. I'm just going to release that. And this one is not nearly as tight as the left side was. And that's it. Thank you. Oh my god. Thanks everyone. And thanks for watching. <laughs>